Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another NBA Supercard video on the channel and today we are going to be going over our court domination rewards. We're going to be opening up a fusion and claiming a couple free packs in today's video. So we're going to be talking about all that in today's video. But before we get into the rest of the video, guys, make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe with no on if you guys have been enjoying the vids and you do not want to miss any coming out in the future. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Starting off, we did end up finishing court domination, as you guys can see. Fully completed, we got Sue Bird, Kevin Herter, and Kemba Walker. Finished it up about, I believe, an hour ago or so. And uh, really happy that I ended up getting it done. Looking really good. Uh, Sue Bird, definitely the best ruby in the game at this point. Also has some other images. She's got the emerald image, which looks okay. Um, I'd say I'm a bigger fan of this one. But we're going to go ahead and throw in, yeah, 71 silver should be enough. Uh, level 19. All right, we'll just throw in a couple bronzes, I guess. Um, but yeah, Sue Bird looks like an insane card. I mean, singles, she's already better than most cards in this game of that aren't Ruby Pros. So it's crazy. Sue Bird is crazy insane. I'm really excited to have her on the team, and I'm excited to have her in my deck. Whenever I can throw her, she will definitely, definitely make my deck. Really happy about that. But also, over the weekend, we did get a ton of pulls. I was having crazy luck now the first one that you saw on screen not the first one but the most recent one was a thaddeus young pro so now we have 16 ruby pros including two um what's it called two promo cards and two event cards so the pros are getting there man i believe we would have a full gauntlet deck if we had two more females but sadly we don't have a full gauntlet deck just because we don't have enough females uh but everything else should be fine i think i need to fill in here uh it looks like i need to put george hill in right there and other than that i still have this luca in for some reason who would who would he be replaced by um hmm. is it oh it's 20 i'm an idiot i thought it was 16 not 20 yes so we're not quite there we're getting there but we're not quite to a full ruby pro gauntlet deck but this is going to make the gauntlet much easier next week i gotta say but we did end up getting some pulls over the weekend. We got a Kelly Oubre. Um, so he's a really solid pull. I believe we got an Alyssa Thomas. I believe that was a pull over the weekend. We got a Roy Hachimura, which was a really, really nice pull. And then obviously we got Kevin Herter in the court domination as well. And other than that, we're looking really good, man. We got a ton of cards. Sue Bird, we obviously have this Stephen Curry, which we ended up pulling from the fusions i believe it was our first fusion we got him from and um he's a really good card hoping we can get a pro pretty dang soon um but like i said we have a fusion to open in this video so we'll open that uh but the all-star game just ended for me Giannis ended up winning the mvp and fernie simons won the dunk contest and steph curry won the three-point contest so maybe we see something special a quest with guaranteeing a ruby version of any of those guys maybe something like that i'm not exactly sure what they're gonna do but we'll have to see if anything comes upon us like that. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get into our free packs real quick. Claim these. And then we'll go ahead and get into our fusions. That'll be pretty good. Um, really, really excited to get. I believe it's an Eastern Conference Fusion. But I believe I have enough to start a Western Conference Fusion. So I will be starting a Western Conference Fusion in this video. It just won't be open in this video. And it honestly probably won't be open tonight. Because it's about 10 p.m. for me. And I don't want to be up till 2 a.m. today, man. I'm, I just want to get some sleep. Um, but yeah, we got an Eastern Conference Fusion to go ahead and open up. I've opened up, I'd say, roughly six or seven. I've pulled two All-Star cards. Now I have to say, I've been pretty lucky. I got the Ruby one and I got the Zach Levine. That's pretty solid. But other than that, I've gotten terrible luck. But some people haven't even pulled a All-Star card yet. So... Come on, give me a James Harden or give me the All-Star MVP Giannis right here. Come on, come on. Or give me a Bradley Beal. I really don't care. Just give me a new card and it's at least it's a Ruby. It's not a Ruby All-Star card, but it's Evan Fournier. It's a new card to add to the collection. It's found me. Sadly, no All-Star card, but I'll take any Rubies I can get. We'll go ahead and start up this Western Conference Fusion with two golds real quick. That's looking good. That'll be done in four hours. And as you guys can see, I have a gold fusion going. I'm tempted to start an emerald fusion because I have the pro Dominique Wilkins. The way I'm going about it is I'm trying to get the pro 
of the certain fusion before I start the next tier fusion, just so I have both stars in the catalog. So I'm not gonna start a silver fusion with a, a guy I only have one of the two stars for. Like Dwight Howard, I only have one star of him, but I have pro Dominique Wilkins, so I'd be willing to start an Emerald Fusion. Hoping I can get a JaVale McGee or a Larry Nance out of there. I'm obviously a Cavs slash Blazers fan, so I'd love to see either of those. Um, but yeah, that Ruby pull, I mean, it's pretty solid. It's nothing crazy, but it's a solid Ruby, Evan Fournier, and he, hopefully we, we can get a pro of him pretty soon. I'll be playing a lot this week. I believe I'm on, on about 50 resets right now, so maybe we can get a pro of him, and we'll be able to add him to the Gauntlet deck. Hoping we can max out the Gauntlet deck pretty dang soon. Uh, before the new tier starts, preferably. I mean, then it wouldn't be a max Gauntlet deck. I'd like to max it out before the new tier starts because that'd be really nice. But obviously, Sue Bird is most likely the last event of the Ruby tier. If I had to guess, so the Gauntlet next week might just be the final event. And if we're going on date standards, uh, the event started on the 3rd, I believe. Uh, wait, today's the 7th and Sunday 6th, 5th start on the fourth all right so it started on the fourth so that would mean on the 11th is when the gauntlet is going to start and that would mean i would guess the new tier is going to come out somewhere between the 17th and the 21st somewhere between that wednesday and sunday not next week but the week after that and then i think after that week we probably get a a gauntlet or a court domination and we just get a normal amethyst rather than getting like an amethyst um let's card event card we'd probably just get a normal amethyst card like we did with the kyle kuzma we'd probably get something similar to that hoping we get some new sick cards with the amethyst tier really hoping for something new and fresh because it's been we've been in ruby tier for i believe over 40 days now and i believe sapphire top tier or since the game came out to ruby was about 45 days so we're edging way way closer to the length it was until ruby started so i would imagine we get a new tier pretty dang soon and i'm really really excited about that but yeah guys i just wanted to make a video going over my court domination stuff with you guys opening a fusion and obviously claiming some free packs talking about my pulls and all that kind of stuff i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe with noties on but yeah i'll see you boys in the next one, peace out.